Namaskaram Sadhguru. Uh, I want to ask like Mahashivaratri is celebrated everywhere in India. So what is the significance you now we have to come, all people have to come here and celebrate with us like in ashram. You said uh, Adi Yogi is coming, can you please tell what, what does that mean? <laughs> this time Adi Yogi is coming for the Mahashivaratri. Sir. So what is so significant here, if you are able also to invite Adi Yogi to your <laughs> Mahashivaratri and if he accepts, You can do it there, no problem. Here everybody gathers because they know he's accepted the invite <laughs> You've heard of Pusalar, there is a panel in the temple. A king built a great Shiva temple and the next day he's inaugurating his temple. That night Shiva appeared in in a king's dream and he said, see, I won't be able to come for your inauguration because another temple is being inaugurated by my devotee, Pusalar. I have to go there, I won't be able to come for your temple. The king was aghast. He has built a magnificent temple and now Shiva comes in his dream and says, I won't be able to come, I'm going to somebody else's temple. Some pusalar. So uh, he woke up with a start and then early morning he set out to looking where this pusalar is. Pusalar was in that part of the town in those days which were considered outcast or in some way considered to be lower caste. So it was in that area and he was surprised, who would have built a greater temple than me in this place? He went there and then he found a small hut. So he called, is there Pusalar here? The man came out and he looked at the king and he was terrified. Why is the king standing in front of my house? So the king asked, are you Pusalar? He said, yes. Where have you built your temple? Where is the temple of yours? A pusala looked embarrassed. My temple? No, my temple, uh, you know, it's in my heart. <laughs> it's not anywhere, I've not built any temple outside. He said, how did you build this temple? He said, last many years I've been sitting and building this temple brick by brick, piece by piece, every architecture, every piece, every decoration, everything, for many years, it just got completed and Shiva said he will come <laughs> Then the king was aghast. He said, I built a magnificent temple of stone, brick and everything and he is coming to your temple, obviously, if it's Shiva's judgment that your temple is better than mine, let me also come to yours. <laughs> this is a wise king. So, Adi Yogi is coming not because we have put up his image, he is not impressed by those things. <laughs> Nor am I. Nor is he coming because all of you are here, nor is he coming because we are doing anadanam, free food. <laughs> no, he is coming because long, long time ago, we built something here which he cannot ignore, he has to come. So, if you want to be a celebration, part of the celebration when he's here, welcome.